Hi everyone, Andrew here and welcome to another Creative Edge video blog. Um, this time I want to I want to talk about um, one of the recent updates. Um, as you may well know, Photoshop has had a recent uh, fairly big update and um, I just want to um, go through a couple of the tools, the new tools that uh, they introduced and how you might want to use them. Um, they've recently introduced two new um, blur tools, the spin blur uh, tool and the path blur tool. And between the two of them you can do something quite interesting when it comes to uh, car photography. And so let's, let's have a look. Um, so jumping over to Photoshop here we have a couple of stock images um, from Deviant Art. Um, we have uh, this one from the Pit Monster, and we have uh, this one from um, uh, is it Lexid Stock? Uh, this road photo. So thank you very much uh, for these guys um, uh, for the, the, the stock. Um, so. I'm just going to show you basically with those two two blur tools we can start to make this look like it's a moving picture. So I've composited these together, um put a shadow in and um you know done done that kind of thing. And so the next thing to do really is to make it look like it's moving. So let's just bring that up a little bit there and what we need to do we need to work on this background layer first and what we need to do is make it look like as if the camera is tracking the car a little bit and the way to do that is we need to add a blur now in previous versions of Photoshop this is something you could do um, but it'd be a lot harder to do within Photoshop itself um, there is a plugin called Virtual Studio which does this kind of thing. But now with the path blur, we have it actually built into Photoshop itself. So, what you do, um, what we're going to do is we're going to take this background layer and duplicate the layer. Okay. And we're going to work on the top layer of those two. We're going to go filter, blur gallery, path blur. Click on that. Okay, and this opens up this blur gallery um, side panel and whatnot. And here we have the path tool. Um, and what we can do is we can drag these endpoints. This is this is the path, and this dictates the direction that the blur is happening. Okay. So, and what you can do with this is we can bend it. So what you can do is we can add a kind of path by clicking this middle one. There you go. You can see that we're just starting to bend the blur. And then we can add in extra points by just clicking on the path. And just adding a bit more of a bend. And the thing to do with this is to mess about with it, move these around to try and figure out where you want it to go. Now, so I've put one path in there, but what you can do is you can add multiple paths. You don't just have to stick with the one path. So what I can do is just click let's say let's do one along this line here so you click and then I'm going to let's do one there and you can see it's starting to bend do one there and do one there and click again and there you can see that the blur is following Ah, there now isn't that cool now so that works this is working here um, what I might want to do is add one along here okay because it's coming from a point so it, it's not going to be uniform you can see it's going slightly at an angle here 
So let's add one along here. Let's add one just there. And then another one there. And then another one there. And then another one there. And double click on that one to end it. Okay, so we're, we've gone probably a little bit out. So let's just drop that down and drop that down. Try and get it. So it's following that a little bit. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. And then I want to add one because the camera would have kind of probably followed this route here. So I want to add one kind of going this way so that, you know, it looks like it's coming from a point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one. Let's go there. And then let's do there, there, and down here. And double click. There, that's even better. Okay, now we go a little bit wrong up here, as you can see, but we're going to deal with that at the moment because really we only want this bottom part of the picture blurred. We don't want this top part of the picture blurred. But that's why we duplicated the layer before we did the blur. So we now click OK. So we're finished. Well, I'm, I'm happy with those blurs. You know, we've got a bit of movement on this road down here. So click OK. It'll work. And it'll add that blur. Now, the next thing is I'm going to add a layer mask to my blur layer. Get a brush. Make sure it's a nice soft brush. I'm going to lower the opacity. I'm working on um, a tablet here, so I get pen pressure. And then switch to black. And then I should be able to just paint back in. The top part. I don't want you can see that blur coming down there. Don't want it on there. Don't want it there really. Get rid of it from there. And just get rid of it from back here. That's kind of good. And then just lightly just Start to get rid of it a little bit. So we're just getting it just here, just down here, just adding a little hint of movement in that. And get rid of it from all up here. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, so that's the path blur. Uh, excellent tool, and you can actually add some really interesting movement blur effects. But the next tool is also quite interesting because uh, the car looks stationary. The reason for that is the wheels are stationary. They're not spinning. So we need to add another of these new blurs. This time, oh, uh, we need to make sure we're on the right layer for a start. That would help. Uh, now the car's hidden away in here. In this group so click on the car and we will just duplicate that layer and turn off the bottom one uh, means we can work non-destructively to kind of um, because we've got a copy of the car so work on the top one and then we go to filter blur gallery spin blur here it is it's just sorting itself out Drag it down, it's a bit big at the moment. And I'm just going to take the center and just place it roughly over the center of this wheel here. Because what we're going to do is we're going to make this wheel look like it's spinning. So I'll just shrink that down to about there, which is about the size of the wheel. And then by hovering over one of these points on the side, I can turn it into an ellipse. 
and then just bring that in, tilt it slightly. And as you can see, just twist it again a little bit. Take my time, get it right. There, uh, just move it out slightly. Look at that. Excellent. Happy with that. Click OK. I hit return and then that adds that spinning and then I'm going to do it again filter blur blur gallery spin blur <clears throat> we're going to do it on the back wheel this time so bring it down and then by hovering so what you can do is hover over the the outer circle and that shrinks it uniformly to roughly the size of the wheel and then by hovering over one of these dots on the outer wheel you can deform it into a ellipse so let's just spin that around a little bit just going to shrink it down a touch. Yeah, roughly in the right place. Uh, just a little bit of fine tuning just to get it about right Ooh. now you see this middle one here this determines how much spin we're having I don't want much spin at all just a tiny amount grab within the circle to move it that's not too bad that's not too bad Ellipse is perhaps still a touch too big, but that'll do for the time being. So let's hit return, let, let the filter do its job. There we go, it spun it for me. Now, what I can do is I can add a layer mask, turn on the car beneath, add a layer mask, and I'm going to just paint on this layer mask because you see what we've done is we've gone onto the car a little bit here and I don't want the blur on the car because the car if the camera is tracking the car the car would not be blurred and so get rid of the blur where I don't want the blur to be like that okay right and there we go so just zoom out a little bit and there we have it so I mean there's a lot more work to do on that to get it to look like it's not just a car sitting above um, uh, this image um, but um, that wasn't the point of this this tutorial uh, I just wanted to show you um, how to how you can add some blur and um, a little bit of movement to to a car picture. Um, so it was a little bit last minute thrown together, but hopefully it was useful to you. Um, so thank you very much for watching and um, uh, watching me demonstrate this new uh, Photoshop tool um, in the one way that immediately sprung to me in terms of you know what you can do with it. So. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, remember, you can, if you want to see more of these, subscribe, um, share it um, on your social media, and that would be amazing. So thank you very much, and see you on the next one.